Hey yo there, glad to have you with me. Good morning, this is the family farm. Thank you for checking in to watch. We gotta check some pigs. We have a lot to do, but I don't know exactly what that stuff is. Hey guys! Y'all smell terrible! <laughs> right here in the bottom of the feed is what we've got is where the pigs are eating. Feed comes in through these tubes, comes into here, drops down into the feeder. Then the feed comes out through the bottom of the tub. The pigs can rake some of the feed off down into the bottom. Down there in the bottom is where they get water. Hey, buddy. Uh-oh. Curtain cable's broken. Just we'll have to fix that. Everything looks really good. Let's get cleaned up and get on with the day. Disinfectant kills germs. I used to have to explain it. Now that we've all been through COVID, we all know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's see how long it takes us to go, not quite a half mile. Okay, we're in the driveway. I'm not counting it until we get to the shed. 438. That's over a nine minute mile. It's faster than I can run. It's kind of embarrassing. So this needs to go over here in the corner. But as you can see, we got a problem. We got a tractor in the way, a truck in the way here, and somebody just put the forklift there. So we're gonna get all those out of the way, and then hopefully, and the truck will start. You win! Sometimes it starts, sometimes it doesn't. Disc is in, put everything else away, eat some lunch, go plant some beans, pray. Well, that's unfortunate. It just randomly dies. Lunchtime, and I'm hungry. I'm gonna charge this, and then I'll go play electrician for a little while in the house while this charges for a half hour. All right, let's give it a while. This was really not my plan, but that's okay. I am in uh, what we call the White House, Taylor and I call the White House. We're working on remodeling this thing for, started in July of last year, so it's been a long time. We're really ready to be done with it. I got four lights put up in here. Let's go out and see if we can get this darn forklift to start. Well, that's a good sound, because that means I can eat some lunch. So I'm getting hangry. Ah! Is that weird? Yeah, that was weird. Okay. No more lions. Noah and I are going to load some pigs. In this, there may be something that would be kind of controversial if I don't give a good explanation of why we're doing it the way we're doing it. When we load pigs, we use electric prods. We use them primarily because it's what we believe to be the most humane way and the safest way to move the pigs. The humane way because the other option is to use rattle paddles, which are essentially glorified maracas when you kind of shake them. And the pigs don't move very well, so they can get overheated hot and they get stressed out. We don't like that. When we use the prods, we touch them once with it, give them a stimulus. After that, we usually just tap them without having any electrical stimulation. The pigs know like, oh man, oh, maybe I'm gonna get it, maybe I'm not. And then they'll take off running. It moves them quickly, it moves them efficiently, and it moves them safely because these are 280 to sometimes 310, 320 pound animals. They're so strong, their center of gravity is so low, they can hurt us. So we have to keep them moving in a direction that keeps the people who are handling them safe. That's why we do this. We want to be transparent, let you guys know exactly what we're doing. We don't have anything to hide. This is the safest, most humane way that we feel we can move these pigs. Today we're loading out of Dad's hog building. What we're going to do this morning, marks on them that we've sorted to the front of the pen. Those pigs, we're going to push them out into this alleyway here. Once they come down the alley, they're going to come around into the center room here, where we'll get 20 or so pigs in here. And then, oh, hey, good morning, Noah. 
morning. We're gonna run the pigs up the uh, chute here onto the trailer. That's a wrap for this load. We're changing into different clothes so that we protect our biosecurity here. Wrap the pigs off and then come back. And in the semi now, headed to town with a lot of bacon. Pigs are all in one, significantly longer than what I hoped it would, but they're off. Ready to go finish planting corn. Noah's had breakdown after breakdown with bean planter. Try to keep him moving. I think he's going now. I'm gonna go take a different module down to dad. It is windy today. We got this module on the planter fix. This little guy right here is the one who's been giving us trouble. We're on our third one of the season. And we're hoping this one works to finish the last of the field here. I think we got our problem fixed. The module we put on wasn't working. I think it's working now, so we're gonna push some buttons, make sure that everything goes up and down. Next problem we've got is the uh, actual rope cleaner that fell off. Yeah, it's supposed to be two wheels. We've only got one on here. So we're going to take this stub off and take it back and try to put new bearings in it. New bearings and use the old seal. We don't have another seal. Let's hope it works. See, we've got our company colored shirts on today. Completely unintentional. <laughs> kind of like a three-legged dog. It's long, gets the job done. It's not quite as efficient as the others. Been sitting in a tractor all day. Uh, not all day, a lot of time. Mull things over and, and contemplate. And man, if y'all ever get the chance to go to a marriage conference and work on your marriage, do it. And it was hard to shut the tractor down. It was really hard. There will always be more corn and beans to plant. I was really challenged. And instead of, of coming up with a way to fix things, just sit, listen, just hear, and be with her for once. So I, that's so hard for us as guys, me especially. I, I just want to fix my wife's problem. She's got way more of them than me. <laughs> completely false. Uh, completely false. Yeah, guys, be a leader. Love your wives well. Show her that you care. Hear her, hear her out. Make sure she knows how much she's cared for. I get bored in here sometimes, and I am very guilty of playing my own air band while I'm in here alone. planting corn 21 corn planting now it's on the finishing beans